Greetings, travelers of the digital realm. Welcome back to Dice and Mysteries, the one-stop series for all things cryptic and fantastical in tabletop gaming. I'm your host, Sophie, and if you're keen on today's intriguing topic, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. Anyway, let's dive into the shadows of a peculiar fictional conspiracy theory, linking Dungeons and Dragons with none other than the Illuminati. Dungeons and Dragons are a beloved game of fantasy adventure and camaraderie. The Illuminati, an alleged secret society intertwined with countless conspiracy theories. What if they were connected? This theory is called the Illuminated Dungeon. This wildly imaginative theory suggests that the creators of D&D were influenced and even directly guided by members of the Illuminati. They got a lot of people guiding them. I believe it, a lot's going on in the game. According to this theory, the Illuminati used D&D as a means to subtly control the minds of players worldwide. The theory purports that the elaborate lore, rules, and world building in Dungeons and Dragons are all tools to indoctrinate players into the Illuminati influencing them to follow the paths that align with the group's mysterious agenda. I've always fancied getting an invitation to the Illuminati myself. I really like triangles. And the dice? This theory suggests that they are not just for gameplay. This is a form of divination. That's the second time we've heard this. The Illuminati, it suggests, uses these random outcomes to guide players subtly along predetermined paths, furthering their undisclosed goals. Of course, this theory is purely fictional and in the realm of fantasy, don't come out as Illuminati that doesn't exist. Much like our beloved game itself. As far as we know, there's no secret society behind D&D, just creative minds, fun gameplay, and exciting adventures. But what if? Could you imagine if every D20 role was influenced by the Illuminati? What do you think of this entertaining conspiracy theory? Is it real? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, whatever else YouTube has going on now to ensure that we show up in your algorithms. And don't forget to watch the first episode if you didn't already. This is installment number two. I'm Sophie, you're watching Misty Mountain Gaming TV, and until next time, keep those dice rolling and stay curious, adventures. We love you. Keep the magic alive.